Have you checked under your bed lately? Probably some dust bunnies, maybe a monster or two. No matter what's there, we found one teen inventor who's got you beat. She actually sleeps on top of more green slime than you could find on a kid's award show. And for her, that green has turned into gold. Here's Allie Ward. Having fun, goofing around with friends, that's what teens do, it's part of the deal. Hanging at the beach, moving to the beat, and hitting the multiplex for the latest superhero movie. Now, if there were a movie of science superheroes, 19-year-old Sarah Voles would be Algae Girl. No cape, no mask, just flasks. She doesn't soar above the clouds, she explores the unknown, and she's earned the attention of some pretty impressive admirers. Uh, we've got Sarah Voles, who's breeding new types of algae. Where's Sarah? Throughout her high school years, the question Sarah would pursue, can algae biofuel become a sustainable source of energy? Surrounded by glasses of glimmering algae, Sarah conducts award-winning research, and she does it down amongst the dust bunnies. You see, she conducts her experiments on this green goo under her bunk bed. Sarah is breeding new types of algae. She stores this in a lab in her bedroom. So Sarah, you have very supportive parents. I first got the idea to begin experiments with um, algae in really, I guess I heard about it in eighth grade. We caught up with Sarah at MIT, where she's now a student. Her passion for science is serious, from top to bottom, head to toe. Ah, oh, wait a second, look at your shoes. Is that the periodic table? Yeah, yeah. Do you have a favorite element? I do, actually, I've got two. What's the first one? Fluorovium. Lerovium. Element 114, yeah. Okay. And I like it because it has an awesome name. What's the second one? Second of my favorite elements is radium. Why is that? 88. It's because Marie Curie discovered it and she was my like one of my favorite scientists growing up. Ever since Sarah was that little girl growing up in Colorado, she's had a curious spirit, winning her first science ribbon in kindergarten. Every time you question something, every time you hold your beliefs up to experiment to see whether they are, are true or not, that's when you're doing science. By that definition, she's been doing science all her life. But it was during a sixth grade science fair that everything changed. Everything about that experience really blew me away. I got to go to the state science fair in Colorado for the first time that year. There were high schoolers, like kids just a couple years older than me, that were doing these amazing projects that were absolutely mind-blowing. I was like, I want to be that. I want to do something like that. I want to make some sort of discovery like this. It could never have been anything other than science because there's nothing more important and true and wonderful than pursuing a question and trying to find a meaningful result. An innovator needs to know that success will be preceded by a lot of failure. And those failures, in fact, are what will inform the success and the success won't be meaningful without the failures. Sarah's parents always believed in her dreams, making time for Sarah to pursue science and making space for her algae. My parents were really happy that the algae was moved out of the kitchen and out of their closet and into my bedroom. When the lab was moved into her room, Sarah slept when her slime slept. Lights would turn on and off at particular times and it was just like, oh, the lights are off. That must mean it's time for me to go to bed. And finally, after years of quiet work... The first place winner of the 2013 Intel Science Talent Search, Sarah Bowles. A $100,000 prize. Sarah found higher oil yields can be created, and algae biofuels might be viable down the road. And that feels really, really good um, to know that like something that you're very passionate about matters to other people also, and maybe made some sort of impact. When she left for MIT, her algae stayed home. So does she miss her algae now that she's in college? I do miss my algae a little bit. I mean, the bubbling from under my bed was very calming. Still just a sophomore, Sarah has plans. So do you think you're gonna go to grad school? Oh, definitely. Yeah? yeah. Do you know where? Any idea? No idea where, but I'll probably end up studying biochemistry. I get my inspiration in a weird way from the future. I feel really inspired when I think about the leaps and bounds that are going to happen in our understanding of the universe um, in the next few years and will continue to happen. And I get inspired by the idea that um, maybe I could be a part of that. So there's a fountain. Do you know if there's algae in this? I don't know, there Can could look? be. Can let's look? Let's look. <laughs> I want to go algae hunting with you. I mean, who wouldn't? She's algae girl. 